Uh, my name is Rosemary Hunter. I work at CAFRI, which is a college here in Northern Ireland, and I uh, work for the Department of Agriculture. I work here as a countryside management lecturer, a stroke advisor, which is basically teaching students about environmental issues uh, for those working in the agriculture sector, but we also have a specific uh, countryside management course. I've always really had an inkling for working in the countryside. I've come from a rural background here in Northern Ireland. I live very close to the Giant's Causeway, which is a World Heritage Site. Um, my father's a farmer as well. So I've always really had a keen interest in the countryside and always would have had a bit of volunteering experience with the National Trust as I lived quite close. So I think that's where the focus really lay in terms of what decided me to have this career. Uh, we live in a rural area and near the Giant's Causeway. So again, just a stunning landscape and the countryside surrounding that. Um, so it was a small dairy farm in those days, but uh, basically just working the farm. And again, um, my father was basically involved in agro-environment schemes. So again, there was that linkage to basically managing for agriculture, but also taking care of the environment as well. And I suppose father's uh, farmer's daughter would basically be doing like uh, having to basically bring in cows for milking and uh, having to feed young calves and things like that. Then. I think I'm one of uh, four daughters, so I'm further down the line. I think in terms of my elder sister would probably would be, uh, shall we say, encouraged to do the farm. As you got down the ranks in terms of uh, sisters, uh, there was less pressure on myself. I joined maybe too strong a word. Um, I basically got through it kind of thing, I would say, in terms of it dependent on the teachers and dependent on the subjects. I wouldn't say I think it was going through the motions more than anything else in terms of, yep, you go to school, you do that kind of thing, you had no other kind of choice. I, think, I don't think it was until university that I really clicked into learning, shall we say. I believe it was in my geography um, a, a lecture, a lecture at Queen's University. It really inspired me basically to take this forward. I did a geography degree at Queen's University, but then as well, basically getting advice from my lecturers here, I felt I had to basically pursue that a bit further and get a bit more um, uh, sort of definition in terms of sort of an area so then I uh, went on to do a master's in environmental management at Stirling in Scotland. Having a keen interest in it and being good at it I think is the reason why I chose the geography degree. I wouldn't have been too sure in terms of what degree to take I think when I was at school but I think because I was good at it and I liked the subject that was the main reason why. Uh, after finishing my university career, I um, decided to take a gap year and I think that really helped. So I travelled overseas and I did conservation volunteering experience in Malaysia, um, Australia, New Zealand. And I think that really opened my eyes in terms of, you always think about environmental problems on a worldwide basis, but we always have to deal with environmental problems at a local level as well. So I think that really was a turning point in terms of I didn't really know where I wanted to settle, where I wanted to come back to, so eventually I did return to Northern Ireland. I feel in terms of basically getting that um, job, you know, because you're always, when you come out and you basically graduate, you're always in that situation, you've got a qualification, but you haven't got the experience. And I think basically volunteering and doing the gap year helped me because I was making myself uh, different from all the rest of the graduates. I would say it of an excellent work life. I think too, because I like the environment, I feel this isn't really part of my job. And again, just speaking to some of the students, again, they've got this passion and basically this drive to make a difference. So sometimes my job really, to be honest, isn't a job. It's more a pleasure in terms of, especially getting out teaching students about the habitats, getting out to Port Stewart Strand to look at sand dunes, or going to some of our excellent sites like the Giant's Causeway or Ballin' the Home Bog. You know, it's really a pleasure rather than a job. But again, I do quite a bit of volunteering work, so I'd say I have a good work-life balance and get out and about as well.